Chem 110B, sample final number 16. We could also say Chem 110A, sample final uh, number 6. 6? No, I'm sorry, number 8. Or on your final exam, number 8. Because we did this exact same kind of problem. A cube of copper. There's your cube of copper. It is 1.750 centimeters on each edge. It is treated with HCl. You can see the cube getting thrown into the HCl. Cu plus HCl. The reaction that occurs is CuCl2 getting formed and H2 gas being made. So, the copper reacts, bubbles, of H2 gas are collected, right? So that's the reaction. Now it's balanced. If 2.57 liters of the gas are made at SDP. What mass of the copper remains? Okay, the amount of gas that is produced is related to the amount of copper that reacted. Okay? If you know you made eight sandwiches, you know you used up 16 slices of bread. That's how much you used. So we need to be able to figure out how much we used and that will allow us to figure out how much is left. So, first step. 2.57 liters of H2 gas at SDP. Ooh, 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 ooh. You remember how that goes. 22.41400 liters, right? There it is. That's STP. That gives us moles of H2. We want to compare that to the moles of copper. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Might not be in your problem. And once we're at moles of copper, it's easy to find the grams of copper using the periodic table. 63.55 grams per one mole. Right, periodic table, mole to mole ratio. Okay, and whenever we calculate that up, we get a value. What is that value? That's 7.29 grams of copper that reacted. But I don't want to know how much reacted. I want to know how much is left. Well, if you know you used up this much and you want to know how much is left, you have to figure out how much you started with. How do you get that? Up here. Volume is equal to length times width times height. So 1.750 centimeters cubed because it's the same length, width, and height. That's the volume in cubic centimeters and you remember density of 8.96 grams per one cubic centimeter. Anytime you're dealing with a solid like copper in cubic centimeters, you're going to use the density. Now remember we're cubing that too. And that gives you a value. And that value to three sig figs is 48.0 grams of copper that you started with. Okay, so if we know how much we started with and we know how much reacted, subtracting the two should give us the moles that's left. So what is 48.0 grams of copper start minus 7.29 grams of copper used? It's the grams of copper left. And whenever you do that math, what do you get? B 
being careful with your significant figures. Is it possible to not do a calculation in which you're not careful? I hope not. 40.71, where we draw the line right here. 40.7 grams of copper remain. That's it. Remember, that's your Chem 110A final, or your sample final. We can go to Chapter 5 to look at things like density and SDP, or Chapter 10 for those word problems. Good luck.